This afternoon, a business celebrated the addition of almost 100 jobs in Kansas, while another Kansas institution actually cut positions. Chris Hernandez is in the newsroom now with a look at who's adding and who's cutting. Well, Fort Leavenworth is cutting more than 125 positions, and the Kansas unemployment rate last month went up two tenths to 6.7 percent. But today, Governor Brown, Sam Brownback told me he is helping create new jobs, and he explained why he believes it's working despite increased unemployment in the state. AT&T workers applaud the announcement of almost 100 new jobs in Kansas, most of which will be in the KC metro area. The celebration brought Governor Sam Brown back and other top Kansas officials who say they are creating jobs in the state, despite the fact that the state's unemployment rate just went up for the first time in two years. The difference is private sector versus public sector jobs. Had public sector jobs going down, which you're going to see for some period of time, federal, state, and local, and you're seeing private sector jobs go up in the state of Kansas. For example, this weekend, Fort Leavenworth announced it's cutting 125 civilian positions. Those are public sector federal positions. The base expects to transfer workers to vacant jobs to avoid actual layoffs, but fewer positions at the base has a ripple effect at nearby Leavenworth businesses. Wow, oh, that'll hurt. Davis Denny's family has run this neighborhood grocery store since 1958. About half their customers are from the fort, and sales always drop when fewer people are working there. Most of the time it's pretty busy, but like I say, in the summertime when, they, when they're moving, it's slow. It gets slow, you can tell. The grocery store has cut back on hours for part-time workers because of the slow economy. The governor says growth like AT&T's will come to more businesses when confidence increases. That's what we've got to see as a country. We've got to get, we've got to get our groove back. Brownback says it will take private jobs to get back in that groove, even as more people are thrown out of work as public job cuts continue. And just as President Obama today announced a plan to try to change the federal tax code, Governor Brownback has a working group looking at ways to overhaul Kansas tax laws, and he expects to announce that recommendation in about a month. In the newsroom, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.